Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. This is a fact. Jonathan, come here. I'm going to bring Jonathan on real quick. I got some questions. Come here, right here. Just picking up random people come on, off man. the street. You know what I mean? Picking up random people off the street. First off. Jonathan, how are you? I'm, I'm doing well. He's he's really tall, people, as you can see. Um, so, uh, he's one of my favorite people when it comes to talking about podcasting. He is one of those consistent people that will teach you about it, give you all kind of different updates about it, all that great stuff. Uh, Jonathan, introduce yourself to the people. Yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm your podcast mentor, and I'm I'm a major fan of the Nikki and Moose show. I, I, I tap in. I, I love the way y'all break down brands and everything like that. But uh, you know, I've, I've learned. I've learned a lot from y'all. I, 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 I've told you that, Nikki. But Moose, I never told you. You know, the way y'all be breaking down personalities, in addition to the brands, everything like that. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to be here. With you. So okay, what's the biggest takeaway that you've gotten from podcast movement so far? I mean, you know, I know you're working. I know you're working, but yeah, yeah. I know you're still listening. Yeah. So uh, collective agency. I just heard it in the in the Lipson panel uh, that was that was moderated by uh, L.C. Escobar, and just talking about how we need to come together, C- come together, uh, create creating that community, but then uh, taking it the next step further. Like if I have something that can help you, or I know somebody who you should be connected to. And making that and facilitating that connection, you know, ma- making sure and, and facilitating those connections so that we can continue to build and we'll be stronger together. Tell me if that volume's better, people. Tell me if that volume's better. Okay, so um, what is there a session that you're still looking forward to? Or are you just happy that you're just around here? What's, what's, what's the vibe you got? Yeah, so uh, so actually, actually yesterday, just learning about audio storytelling, mm. like, and, and it was, uh, I think the term was binaural. Exactly. Exactly. I was like, what? Because they started talking about the, they started talking about the Wolverine podcast, and uh, yeah, like, like with, like with the Wolverine, we good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 But yeah, they're they're talking about the Wolverine podcast and how. When you listen with these certain headphones, you know how you don't have to be as descriptive talking about like there's a tiger walking in front of you or you or something's dropping behind you because you hear it. And I'm like, what in the world? But this is a session I never would have attended. I wouldn't have looked it up, but just because I was working the room helping in the techno track, I was like, okay, y'all, y'all talking good. Y'all talking real good in here. Okay, so so let's talk let's talk about volunteering real quick because some people don't know that's like the the hack. If you want to go somewhere. You should volunteer. You get in pretty much for free, and you get the information. You got to work a little bit, like a lot of bit, but still, you get a lot of information. Um, talk about like the benefits of volunteering and kind of getting in those rooms. Have you met somebody that you were like, oh, hold? On. And this is any event. This doesn't mm-hmm. necessarily have to yeah, be yeah, this yeah, event. For sure. But like, you met somebody you're like, oh snap! I didn't expect this, mm-hmm. and I'm mm-hmm. so happy. Yeah. So uh, in, in terms of volunteering, it, it's one of those things that, you know, it, it's 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 service. Right. Yeah. And it's not always the sexiest, but I've got the opportunity to meet people who are on stages like Dave Jackson, podcast, Hall of Fame. And I was you know, I got got to meet him by, by volunteering. But even in addition to that, you get to one, you get the opportunity to showcase and spotlight other individuals. But then also, I was talking with one of the gentlemen, uh, he's head product manager, he was like, yeah, man, send me an email, I'll shoot you a free unit. And I was like, wait, what? He was like, yeah, let me know what you think about it. Senior man- senior marketing director. Wow. So, yeah, when they were, I was like, whoa, that's, that's day one. That's how we kicking it off, man. Right, right, day right, one. right, okay, free stuff in so, day one? Back. Yeah, so, so one, you, you get the opportunity to, you know, you could come away with something free, maybe, maybe not, but... Uh, really understanding that when you begin to develop authentic relationships with people, keep the conversation going. You can even see opportunities of where, okay, there might be a gap here, might be a gap there. I can help here. I can help there. And then that's how you create, that's how you create relationships. That's how you create further opportunity. But, you know, really, really it's, it's, it's positioning yourself by, I don't want to say by lessening your position, but positioning yourself by serving other people. 
pretty cool. What, what about podcasting do you like? Like, what part mm-hmm. of podcasting to you? You said a podcast mentor. That means, like, yeah. hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made a commitment to this industry. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. what about it? Do you what about it? Do you find interesting or what gra- gravitates you toward it? You know, why should people who don't have a podcast today consider saying, maybe I need to start here record <laughs> and get going out there? Yeah, okay. Well, well one, you know, uh, Money, money is always one thing that will move people, right? So understanding that uh, it's projected the podcast industry is a hundred billion dollar industry by 2028. Whoa! A <laughs> hundred billion? Hey, hey by, why, by, why I by, keep by, saying we need to continue just to by, be podcasters? You by, out here? By compound annual growth rate, it was it was uh, the stat was produced by uh, by Grand Valley View Research. I can I can send y'all the link. But not ninety four point eight eight. Okay, okay, that's but that's that's hundred billion. That's, that's we, hundred. we closer to we that's close hundred. to hundred than than one. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's one part for the people who with the numbers. Uh, but also, you can literally build your authority from nothing. And and for instance, for instance, we'll we'll take you two as an example. You all didn't build your authority from nothing, but you all had areas of interest and areas to where you all have spent time. And then now, with you all doing the podcast, y'all began to show people. Look. Look, check out these brands. These are things that we've taken away. And people are tapping in. I see the YouTube. Y'all what, 11, 11K? You know, 11.2. Yeah, man. So, so, so it's So it's, it's the opportunity to create the authority, to create the lane, the thing to where you're calling out your tribe. You're calling them out by name. You're like, hey, this is what you're interested in. We're going to do this. When y'all talked about the pivot clips, yes. I heard Nikki say, "Hey, y'all love when we do the pivot clips." So hey, we're gonna break down the pivot a little bit more. Shout out to the pivot because the pivot's here too. You yeah, get me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the executive producer and I think some well, another person, not not them, but the producers of here. Yeah, they're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fair. As, as they as they should be. Right. So and then the other part, connecting with other people, connecting with you know people who you know you look up to, connecting with people that. You might want to be where they are. Mm-hmm. Podcasting is the best way to, you know, get that coaching, get that connection, and even get get them on the show. Yeah. So you know, like doing and putting all those things together, it's it's a recipe for for any for any industry. We talk about corporate, we talk about personal brands, whatever. McDonald's had a podcast. Yep. Wow. And McDonald's had a podcast about this. Saskatchewan sauce, I believe it was, they had like a six episode series and they were talking about the sauce because the sauce was getting ready to come back. Mm-hmm. So they were doing a product launch. Yo, you know what's crazy and I'm glad you mentioned this because I heard it in the in the room yesterday okay. that we think podcasts have to be a gazillion episodes. Oh man. But yeah, there are yeah. some podcasts that are six episodes. Six, eight, eight episodes. episodes. Yep. Now I'm not sure what they do after that. I don't mm-hmm. know if they bring it back or they do another like season to it. Mm-hmm. But just the thought around there are no rules. And and I don't know why in our minds we create these rules and boundaries as to why we can't engage or why we can't enter when in reality you can do whatever you want, really. Say, say, I'm about to blow your mind, Moose. I was looking at a guy named Frank Frank Kern. You all might have heard of me connected with like Grant Cardone. Yeah, yeah. If you look, he got one minute episodes, two minute episodes, taking little clips that he's done from a call, from where, wherever he might have been. But, bro, people are getting real creative. And then Shans, Shans is doing like the five minute Fridays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To where he's doing to different type of content. So it's. Man, we a lot of people get boxing, especially people who might be outside, who either aren't in the space or they're thinking about getting the space. There's a lot of barriers there, but people who are in the space, we have to really take time and get creative about how do we want to leverage our podcast, what do we want it to do, and then we need to start doing the type of content that's going to produce those results. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay, so what's your take? Uh, you know, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, did their little podcast platform, not calling it little, all right? Yeah. Uh, but they have a whole section, youtube.com slash podcast, where now they're curating more and more of the podcast mm-hmm. clips, the episodes, the playlists, things like that. What is your thoughts about that from a video standpoint when it comes to podcasting? Well, I mean, y'all talked about it. You got one, you got to do video. Talk about it. You got to do video. <laughs> You, one, you got to do video, but two, YouTube, if we see YouTube doing something, yeah. they're telling us we should be, yeah, that's a good we point. need to be in that YouTube bag, right? So if you haven't been doing video, start like today, like start right now. Just just take a look, take the phone, 
do whatever you got to do and just start documenting something because if you're not doing videos, and that means you're not doing shorts. If you're not doing shorts, then you're not trying to get discovered. Mm, wow. Wow. They're saying, they're saying share your podcast name again. Share your podcast name again. Yeah, so uh, the name of my podcast is, is Your Podcast Mentor Show. You can type in Your Podcast Mentor on YouTube and I'll, I'll pull up. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's start about maybe some beginning stuff. Like, what do people need, mm -hmm. right, when starting a podcast? Hey, hold on, super we got chat. Super Chat. <laughs> shout out to Chris, shout out to Nick. I saw you in the uh, in the Super Chat before. So, uh, but yeah, what do people need to start a podcast? Because how we started, we, we got expensive mics. I, I don't think we're the greatest. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we're the greatest. The to we, we went all in. That We are extremists. Well, I'm an extremist, and I kind of influenced him to be one. Um, so what, what would you say if, hey, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. Uh -huh. I know I need to get equipment. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what. Yeah, and yeah. the budget type wise... Nikki Moose got four hundred, five hundred dollar oh mics. My. Do, do I need to get? That? Then I heard I gotta get a roadcast. Like, talk oh to people. Oh Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, so I, I give two two examples. One, you can go to Earn Your Leisure Route. How they started out, the iPhone with the with the earphones with the mic jack, right? Because we all more, more likely we all have a cell phone. Not we all. If we're from place of, okay. Cell phone. Majority of us. Majority of us. Thank you, Nikki. Well so, said. you know, cell phone with the earphones with the mic jack, right? That right there, you can get video, and then you can, you know, you can extract the audio from there. Or if we're like, okay, John, I'm a little bit more serious, you can get the, what, the, the Samsung 9, the Samsung, uh, I, I get it Come confused because I got, I got the Q2 Samsung. So it's the Samsung phone. It's the Samsung mic, and it's like, it was 59, but I think they raised it like to 79. You can get that and get started. It's a USB mic, so you can plug it right into your laptop and then just rock. Like right right there, get started. And then, you know, you can host on Anchor. I don't recommend Anchor per se. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it because I say the same thing, but okay. you're the podcast mentor. So I, yeah, okay. Why, why you say that? So I, I, don't, I don't recommend Anchor just because of the fact that you have to go through loops and bounds to be able to access like your the, the the analytics and then they take the people who sign up they put all their stuff together so that they can go get the sponsorships and they can go get and control oh. how much you're gonna get so you know aka not really ownership yeah it's definitely it's definitely not ownership because it's a they set up a third party situation which you know it's good information right here uh, yesterday we talked about mistakes, man. You know, mm -hmm. uh, 100 episodes in, we've had our fair share. Uh, you know, just from your journey, what are some mistakes that you can look back on and say, well, yeah, it, 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 essentially it was a lesson, but shoot, if I go back, I might want to do this a little bit differently. Not getting clear on what I wanted my podcast to do for me. My mm. first podcast was called the Jonathan Jones Speaks Podcast, which wasn't necessarily bad, but it was geared towards millennials. But I was trying to speak at colleges more. Therefore, one thing I, talk, I tell my clients all the time, I say, you got to look at who's your target audience, audience of one, right? Focus on that one person you're talking to. But then on the other side, who's your target client? Because if we're catering to a target audience, this is the people who's listening, who's rocking. But then if we have a target client, this is somebody who could be a potential sponsor, right? Somebody who could be a listener as well as they could do business with you. But if we don't get clear on those two aspects, um, and ultimately, it falls on the umbrella of what's the purpose of your podcast? You want it to help you establish authority. You want it to help you generate leads. You want it to help you make some money. Yeah. You want to do it for fun. You can do it for fun. You know, the pivot. They doing it for fun. They rocking, but they making they making bread though. Nah, but they're taking it's, it a lot serious now because I think yeah, it went yeah. from fun to understanding the impact. Mm -hmm, and that, mm -hmm. and that's that's the great part about podcasting is like you really don't know your true impact true like we were talking just a little earlier like looking at the charts seeing that we're in like dominican dominican republic we're in crazy, finland crazy. we're in like trinidad and tobago like wait what you look at your analytics on youtube and mm -hmm. you're seeing how global you are and, it, and this is all from a podcast that you have now entered the world of being a global brand mm -hmm. like talk about how simple that is but where people start overthinking it 
like you have a podcast, you are almost a, a step away from being a global brand. Oh, most definitely. I mean, it, because it's, it's now to where you put out the thoughts and conversations that you're having with your friends, but except now you're sharing those thoughts just out there into the podcast sphere and people have the ability to tap in, especially when we talk about SEO and how we title episodes, because if somebody's struggling with how to get over FOMO and they just search how to get over FOMO, then they type into the podcast search, they're going to get episodes and they type it on YouTube, they can get some other stuff. Yep. So it's just understanding that the thoughts that you had before and you might put those into a vacuum by being at the crib just talking, now you're going out there. So don't devalue what you have to offer the world and how, how your thought, how your perspective, how you're feeling can really change somebody's situation based on the experience that you have you shared. Wow, good game. I'm just listening, like, yo, that's that's deep. <laughs> you want me to keep asking? Yeah, please do, please do. I'm just, I got caught off guard. I was like, yo, that's real. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about money. Okay. Right, we gotta talk okay. about money. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are different ways you can make money mm -hmm. from podcasting. So, kind of break that down for the people. Um, like for us, we're getting into community. We're get we got uh, sponsorships. We do affiliates, but kind of break that down. From, from your lens of how mm -hmm. to make money from podcasting because though it shouldn't be the main motive, mm -hmm. it is a factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a factor because, so I'm going to say this first part and I'm going to get into that. It's the main factor because a lot of people might do podcasting for the love starting out, right? Yeah. But then when they get to like two years, it's like, okay, I need to make some money so I can pay for this hosting if, if anything, right? If anything. But uh, when we start talking about money from my lens, and one of my clients is actually here, well, my community is here, my Get Paid With Podcasting community. But uh, I was talking with, his name's RJ Zimmerman, shout out to RJ, the host of the Untapped Keg Podcast. Okay. Where he talked about sobriety and mental health. And he said, when I heard your podcast, and then he hopped on a webinar, then he signed up for my program. Yep. Right, so we can, so as you're establishing your authority in your niche for your industry, mm -hmm. You can have 10 people that hear the episode and you got two, three people that make the decision that I want to learn more. I want to invest. So, you know, you can have a program built on the back of that. In addition to that, then um, I also have partnered with Castos. I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with Castos, but they do the private podcast. Like that's their, yep. that's okay. their calling card. Okay. I've created uh, an audio book to my podcasting book that I put out through Castos. It's an audio book, but if we frame it in terms of podcasting, it's a private podcast. So, you know, we can you can set up a subscription for it, or it can be a one-time pay, and they pay and they get access to it. Uh, but then, uh, in addition to that, so we got, oh, you can create a book. Create a book. Go on yeah. Canva. Take seven questions that people have always asked you. You can either type up what the responses are, or you can transcribe it, pop that in Canva, save it as a PDF. You print out a print out an uh, ebook for free ninety nine. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I see, a, I see a question in the chat there. It says you don't suggest mm -hmm. Anchor. So, which podcasting platform do you recommend podcasters use? It depends on what you want out of a platform. Mm. I, I have about four that I like. So, my podcast now is hosted on on PodPal. And I partnered with them because I met them a couple years ago. Uh, but I like their platform for starting out newbie podcasters because if you look on the backside, they walk you through each step and they have a like a percentage bar that loads. So on the backside, it's showing you, you know, in terms of organizational and structure for those type people, it lays that out. It's like, okay, 50%, 100%, you need to do this, you need to do that. So I host with PodPal and I recommend them for, for starting out podcasters. But if you're somebody who's like, I'm really gearing my podcast towards monetization, then I would say check out check out Captivate, because Captivate that you can print out uh, like a sponsorship type kit deal based on your analytics and stuff, all in their platform. So really, it, yeah. So it, it depends on it depends on what you what you want. Like it really depends on what you want. And then there's Sounder, and then yep. Sounder, you know, Sounder they do the transcription for SEO. And then, like I said, wow. Castos. I love Castos because I'm doing the audio book, did the audio book with them, and the private podcast piece is a whole different, it's a whole different beast because 
you pay for the hosting, but they're not taking a percentage like the Apple when you do your private podcast with them or the subscription with them. Hey, I'm, I'm reading that comment right there. <laughs> That's sorry. Shout out, shout, shout out to the after show, but we're about to make some changes because of that right there. Yeah, I love that though. It says, sorry, why is this guy a volunteer and not a speaker? Thank you. Yeah, no, Thank I you, agree. Sir. I agree. This man need to be on stage here hey, whenever yeah, I, I, this happens again. I got to burn out here in a second. I got to burn out here in yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's volunteering, oh, so we got to go. I, I, I got to burn but out. But the, the, the thing <laughs> is that, that and we mentioned, I don't know if I said it on my live or we said it here, right? What, what's wrong? Oh, oh I was bad, like, what's bad, wrong? <laughs> oh, oh, the 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 thing is, is that the experts, the people you really need to talk to, are actually not on stage, mm. right? Oh, that's a bar. That what what we listen, and I I was really honest about it. I was like, I'm not learning as much from the stage than what I'm learning when I have conversations out here. True. Right. Because the real people who are doing the work, not saying they're not, mm -hmm. but the real people who are like super research, everything like that in the trenches, you learn more from them than necessarily True. some of the experts there because they're they're only going to give you so much. Where if I had a conversation True. with you, like just in this live, right, you're willing to give out more and more information. They're, get, they're allotted a certain amount of time. They're asked certain questions, and that's it. That's not anything close to near what we need. So it, that's why it's important to come to some of these events because you learn more from the networking. You learn more from talking to other people outside than necessarily even the speakers that you get from inside. True story. And and, and it's because and it's also, and y'all talk, you talked about this on the episode, uh, I believe, with Shans, because it's, it, it's, it's to the point to where the people who are actually in the trenches, they're more connected with what the need is versus somebody who is, you know, the head of X podcast company because their focus is, okay, bottom line, bringing in talent, all this other stuff. And our focus is making sure that we get stuff that works right now. Right. Tried and true for an audience of five people, 10 people, 30 people. They looking at 3,000, 300,000, 3 million. Right, so it's, it's just one of those things also looking from the lens and also just the perspective of the individual giving the information. I like Man. it. I know you gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, I yeah. appreciate you so much. Indeed. We still gotta kick you. it though. I appreciate y'all. So, yeah. I, I got you. I got, my, was... I got my camera and stuff. I'm the, hey, we can, after the day, we can sit down and do the interview. I got my camera, I got my wow. mics. It's in my backpack right now. Wow. That's fine. We'll do it. Yeah, I sound like I'm gonna hit you. Okay, I'll do okay. It. I'm out. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. So that was Jonathan. That's one of my guys, right? 